Welcome back to another Windcraft video. So today we're going to be doing uh, some more questing. Getting closer and closer to level 77. So let's start it off by doing our crates of the day. Let's see if they're going to be less laggy this time. Well, we do have a pretty cool looking epic in there. I don't think we're going to get it, but it looks like we're going to get a rare. Zombie horse cloak. Let's go ahead and open up our next one. And any epics? Oh, we do have an epic. So I need one epic. And we get a common. That is all right. Let's see if we can do a trade up with some commons. Boom, boom, boom. Trade them up. Anything cool? Tornado effect? Meh. All right. One more rare. And we can turn the rare into an epic. And then we can turn the epics into a godly. So that's pretty sweet. Today we're going to start off with the quest Hollow Serenity. So I accidentally stumbled into the zone for it already, so I'm going to have to find it again, and then we will be back to do Hollow Serenity. Here we are at the Fall Talk Manor. Let's see what's going on here. First thing I notice, music's really dark, spooky. I am going to have to turn full bright on, uh, just because people won't be able to see. So anyway, let's take a look. So we have a dead body. This book sticking out with the number one. One is a V. Okay. I bet this is for a, a puzzle, so I'm going to save it. Drawers. Seal with a tight rope. Something sharp. Should be able to cut it. Can I not just steal the knife out of the body? Okay. I can use this to cut the rope. We need to leave the letter. Eileen, Eileen. That girl never listens to me. Her own mother. Every day, I find books sticking out of the bookshelves, and she keeps on coloring random letters in them. She told me that those are her favorite books. There's some sort of clue in them for... I can't comprehend her reasons for doing that. Can't she come up with something that's less of a nuisance for the maids? Okay. So, kind of confirm my suspicion that it's going to be a little bit of a clue type thing. Let's see if we can find some more numbers. Let's go to her bedroom. There's a book with the number 2 drawn on it, and 2 is a D. Okay. Chest is tightly locked. Ah. Okay, so the chest is locked, so I need the rest of the combination. Let's see. Let's see. Books, books, books. Number four is R. Four R. Appears to be a letter. According to the decks, the Fall Talks are a family of nobles that have been a part of the forest for decades. They collect taxes from the residents and were an integral part of the region's politics. But considering the state of the manor, that isn't the case anymore. As of 832 AP, the family consisted of Jormen Faltok, Katarin Faltok, and their infant daughter Eileen. Okay. So we need to find one more bookshelf. And I'm betting it's going to be downstairs. So let's go ahead and head downstairs. Could be upstairs, actually. One more bookshelf. The master bedroom. That's got to have bookshelves. Uh, okay. No number on that one. A button. Door is locked. A key is required. Okay. So let's head this way. Another bookshelf. Perfect. Number three. There we go. Three is A. All right, so let's go back to the locked thing in Eileen's room, which was, where was Eileen's room? Here it is. So let's piece it together. So, so it's V D A R, V D A R. Four letters on a specific order. So V. 
D A and I hit the wrong button. All right, let's do it again. V D. They moved the letters on on me. A R. And that gives me the master bedroom key. And now we can head up the stairs back here to the master bedroom. It's weird that she has a master bedroom key locked in her... Um, in a chest in her room. Alright, let's use the key. Alright, what do we got in here? There's blood everywhere. And a note. It's an old letter. The edges are stained with some strange dark liquid. Katarin's log, entry 51. Garvin, he worries me more and more by the day. My sweet, beloved Garvin. I remember, at the beginning, your men had hired Garvin out of concern for this decay plaguing the land. We told him that he must find a cure for the decay before it subjugated the entire forest. Over time... Well, I suppose love can corrupt. How else would I have fallen in love with Garvin and forsook my own marriage under the nose of my husband and my beloved daughter? Uh-oh. But I digress. Garvin's done great research on this decay. But recently, he's changed. Something's... His eyes are glazed and dull. His tone of voice is disturbing. He's made very little progress on the cure we tasked him with, and I suppose I should just leave him be for the time being. Surely me butting into his work would just make him even worse, no? Besides, if he ever gets too bad, he lives just east of the manor. I can be there for him if I need to, right? He lives just east of the manor, so that's where I have to go next. Oh, what the heck? Uh oh. Is this Katarin's ghost? Do not trust that man. Oh, it's gotta be her ghost. I turned off the Fulbright for the effect. That was unsettling. Let's head east of the manor. Alright, let's do it. Give me a nice map marker. Go, Wintils. You're awesome. We arrived in the little settlement that he should be living in, and we have to talk to some villagers to figure Hello, stuff soldier. out. Welcome to this hick village. I presume the neighbor's kid has been stealing apples again, hmm? Oh, the hick village. Anne, your voice is so delicate. So soothing that... Ah, soldier, are you here for something? Or someone? What, what do, do you need? need? What do I need? Um, we'll just skip straight to the point. Do you know of anyone named Garvin? No. No? No. Okay. See, we're both on the same wavelength. Neither of us have met this person. We're so in love, darling. Interesting. This is weird. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, I'll move on from them. What about Unoa? An outsider. Here? We don't get many of you people often. I mean, you, you people. Want? No clue who that is. If someone like that lived here, then they're probably dead. Ask someone else about him if you want. I don't really care about this Garvin guy you're looking for. Gotta find Garvin. Huh. I'm weird. What you do now the way out here, human? You don't see a lot of your kind often. Got anything you want to say? Uh, no. That doesn't ring a single bell. You could probably ask some other people, though. I'm only the youngest guy in the village, so the older people here would probably know who that Garvin guy is. Okay. Old people. This guy looks old. Hey, you! Got any money? If you give me 5,000 liquefied emeralds, I'll give you a spot of dust from the underside of my floorboards. Oh, wow. No? Ah, oh, that sucks. What you need? Oh, yeah. That's the name of the guy who fired me, damn it! Oh, wait, no. Sorry, human. I was thinking about Gavin. 
I don't know who this goblin guy is. Ask someone else. I can't entertain you with that knowledge. <laughs> oh, ask someone else. Ask someone else. Oh, old man. There we go. This is who I need. You're new. We don't see a lot of youngsters around these days. Especially humans. How can I help you? G Gavan, yes. I know that name. He isn't here, though. I don't know his whereabouts, what he's doing, or if he's even alive. He is just non-existent. I don't know why you're chasing after him, but if you want a place to start, go look at the abandoned laboratory on top of that hill, just to the west of here. Fair warning, though. My great-grandmother is the only reason I know about him. And even then, she was always put off by him and told me to stay away from him. I'd be wary if I were you. Or don't. He sounds like a nice man. You're strong as okay. well. I'm sure you'll be fine. Even his great-grandmother warned him about Garvin. Come on. There we go. Let's check out his house, his laboratory. Oh, okay. That thing's kind of tanky. Hopefully there's not too many of these in there. Alright, this place looks ransacked. I've been hired by Yorman and Catherine Feld to study and hopefully cure this decay that's appeared recently. I'm quite well, excited great voice actor. to get to the bottom of this. It looks like I'm finally settled in. The Feldek family has been quite kind with giving me this Labrador to study in. Where to start? Where to start? Um, let's pick this map. I've been trying to expose this piece of candlestone to different types of magical energy to see if I could reverse the effect of this decay upon it. If I just find whatever energy the decay is sapping from the forest, then, then in all probability this candlestone will revert to cobalt, the mineral that was found in the forest before it began its decline. What could it be, though? I've tried every sort of magic I can think of. Nothing is reversing the effects of the decay. Uh, I, I'm certain of it. The decay is caused by the removal of magical energy. I just can't pinpoint what exactly, though. Okay. <laughs> I found it. 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 I'm the source of the decay. He sounds angry. Throughout the forest, especially in caves, one can find strange, parasitic creatures that specialize in living underneath the earth. When I touched one of these creatures after capturing it, it was as if my skin began to shrivel. It siphoned energy from my hands. Ah. I gave the thing access to a few fresh plants from the light forest and watched it with awe. Within a few minutes, it rendered the plant in a state identical to that of decay afflicted I was right. I was right. I was, he was right. right. These parasites are what's causing the decay. This is no of the world fools or pestilence no this isn't a sorry about the discord ding so forgot to log out of it creatures i i should thank my new friends for this discovery okay oh we already opened that log it's odd though skip I just, through that i went to the secret uh, huh? what, what, i quite like them yes well, help me oh wait did i not read that one already I think I just skipped through something I shouldn't have, but now there's some now there's some stuff happening. Find somewhere to hide in the laboratory. Uh, uh, up here. The shrubbery. Oh no, it's the decayed shrubbery though. What's out here? Is it him? Must be him. <gasps> He's looking this way. I'm hiding. Leave me alone. Okay. The figure left. Secret study in the manor's basement. 
Okay, I didn't mean to skip through that book, but I'll head back to the manor. Back at the manor, we're going to go down to the basement. Let's see if we can find something secret down here. Didn't come down here earlier, but there is this little... The ambient noises are so creepy in here. Alright, we're going to hit this button. Open the basement door. Alright, what we got in here? There should be something worth investigating nearby. Okay. The first thing that grabbed my attention was this thing. Whatever this is. A clock hand? What is happening? We have to... Yep, I knew I was going to have to fight it. Gargoyle? Nothing my meteors can't handle. Oh, I feel so good saying that. Um, so we have a clock hand. We have a cl oh, I should be able to put this clock hand there. Okay, I repaired a piece of the clock. So we're missing a piece here and here. So where could those be? Let's take a look right here. It's an excerpt from his journal. What the hell is my wife thinking? Defending Garvan. As much of a lunatic as he is. The man's made so little progress in the past few years. At this point, it's just a waste of our wealth. Why is she defending him? She's always been like that. So hopeful and defensive of the scientist. What could she possibly see in him? Unless... No, that is impossible. She is not like that. Damn it. I might be in the need for some well-deserved sleep. Okay, so he had his suspicions. Let's take a look here. Bookshelf appears to be a false panel. You can see a room behind it. This is so spooky. Alright, we got another clock piece. Let's apply that there. Now we got to find the gold. And I see some glowy up here. We got the golden clock piece. Okay. All right, now we have a little puzzle. So, right click to move the clock's hand. And I bet this journal over here will tell me all about it. Uh, there's a lot to take in here relating to Gavel's deceased monarchy. There are a few philosophical books that dive deep into the divide that the Sinfrasian uprising has caused within the province. Very strong opinions indeed the decay has certainly drowned out that conflict i myself have never heard of any of this though again i was never a lover of history in the first place huh. one of the more recent books suggested something that has resurfaced in canada villagers are ordered to keep an eye on their neighbors i should ask catherine about this She'd likely know more than I about any remaining royal politics, no? Okay, that didn't really help me out, but I guess we can just do some trial and error. So let's do a six. Okay, six was the correct one. One? Okay, so we start with six. Uh, what is the puzzle? I read all the books. Maybe I should actually try to access the door. A riddle etched on the surface. At six o'clock that night. Only four people came to your funeral. Three of them six, four, have kept three, back. eight. The other person wept for eight hours afterwards. Uh oh, they don't like me messing with their clock. Six, four, three, eight. Just nuking these guys, because uh, with my meteor, they stand no chance. Let's go into the next room. I feel like we're going to find him hiding in here. All right. It's more clear. Day by day, this pestilence. Clear, clear. The creatures that cause this and their wellspring are sent by something beyond my comprehension. Yes, 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 yes. The decay has been 
brought here by divine intervention. Then I will use the divine centuries to cure those just as they suggested. I will begin at my research outpost in that stone city of Lexdale. I'll bring her there. And all of this will finally end by a cure. Okay, so that's going to send me somewhere else. Old Lexdale. Okay. So I leave here, then I go to Old... Oh, what the... Okay. Maybe we can try talking to it. She didn't open the door. And she disappeared. Well, this is creepy. You need to leave the study. Yeah, I, I want to get out of that study. What the? I was knocked out. We've been found out. What's happening now? A vision of the past begins to form in your mind. Uh-oh. Damn it, Catherine! I'm not dealing with that loony anymore! It's been years since I hired that scientist, and he still has nothing! If he doesn't find a cure soon, then I'll just get rid of him! Jorman, you can't be serious! What we're asking him to do is heavily unresearched. Firing him for taking time on that wouldn't be a good idea. Woman, have you seen the state that cretin is in? Even if it does take long, he's in no damn shape to deal with it. Now stop arguing with me and help me get rid of him. No! Uh-oh. Argument. This is too far, Jorman. Garvin must stay. You will do this if you still love me. Why do you even care so much? Some lunatic scientist like him isn't good for anybody. We both know that we'd save more time and money by letting him run off. I still have faith in him, unlike you. I'll talk to him to see what's going on if I must. But I will not tolerate you throwing him out simply because you're too eager for results. Think he's catching on. But know this. I will see to it myself that his head is taken off his shoulders if that man continues to waste my time. I'm leaving to take care of some matters in Gellibord. Ask one of the maids to make sure that Eileen goes to bed. I'll be back before midnight. That was close. I can't have him getting between us anymore. Uh-oh. Oh, there he is. We see him in the flesh. Garvin. I, I'm here, Catherine. You wish to speak with me? Yes, love. Your man is becoming suspicious of you. He thinks that you're not making any progress on the cure and wasting his time. Any more of this, and he may attempt to get rid of you. I just wanted to check on you, love. Are you doing all right? Is your work coming along well? I... I am. Fine. Huh? I am fine. I appreciate the concern, but it truly is uh, unwarranted. I'm quite close to finding a cure to this disease, yes. Ah, oh, that is good to hear. Now then, how are things? We haven't had many chances to catch up recently. <laughs> Wonderful. I've met many peers recently. They gave me the strength I need to advance my progress. Now, how is our daughter, Aline? She's doing great. She takes a lot after you, actually. Oh. Delicate, beautiful, an inquisitive a twist mind. in the story. I just hope this decay can be dealt with, and we don't need to live in fear any longer. Wonderful. And is our eternal bond safe? The gemstone. Has Jorman found out about it? Yes, it has stayed hidden. As long as it's kept intact, our souls will stay bound to it. You just need to take care of your little project 
and we'll ride into the sunset, just like you said. Mm -hmm. She's getting played. And what about our daughter? We, I will not risk her life for our love. She has a future in Sinfras Garvin. She isn't a part of this, and I don't think she. Hell, She's a shining star in this world. Her noble blood and natural talent makes her something truly special. Do you realize, Catherine? Our daughter is a gift from the heavens. Once she has matured, she will accomplish things that Gavel has never seen. Bring back the holy and royal that was lost. Uh oh, what's happening? Forgive me. I. I'm rambling once more. I must leave now. Research calls. Goodbye, my love. Great things will happen sooner or later. I truly hope so. All right. Now we're going to wake up. And unbeknownst to the Faltec family, Jormans hunch was correct all along. Their higher scientists had indeed moved away from his original goal. During his research, Garvin has come too close to contact with the forest of villagers and thoroughly and was thoroughly broken into subservience. Their rules were unclear, but they seemed uninterested in having Garvin continue to truly cure the decay. Instead, their suggestion instead they suggested something far more sinister. Seems like someone brought you back to the forest village. You should probably head to Garvin's research. It was the same person we saw in that building. Okay, well, let's head to the new zone then. Alright, here we are at the old research outpost. Let's come inside and see what's up. In order to progress, you must gather pieces of evidence surrounded by green particles. You can do this by right-clicking on them. Occasionally, a wandering intruder will approach and will catch you if it sees you. You have to hide by right-clicking the closets covered in blue particles. Gather evidence. Okay, I'm scared. I'm hiding in a closet. I guess I can't yet. How do I know when they're gonna come in? Find a place to hide. Quick, quick, quick. Oh. This quest is insane. This is awesome. Can I come out yet? Okay, they left. All right, gather more evidence. It's not too hard to run in those closets when I need to. Okay, one more piece. Nope. I guess that counted still. It's like dead by daylight. It's that same person. They're just everywhere on the map. Okay, let's grab some more evidence. Okay, I'm just gonna hang out. I knew it. Oh no! Oh, that was so close. Six of eight. Alright, they left. This one's the dangerous one. Oh. This one's the safe one. All right, we're safe. One more evidence piece, so we should be fine after this. Do they see me? Oh, they looked right at me. Last piece of evidence. Okay, you managed to gather all the evidence in the research outpost. You should review the material gathered and find out what Garvin was up to. As you sift through your findings, a visualization of what you're reading forms in your mind. He brought Eileen with him. Ah, no, now you're here. I need you, my darling. We... No. I can cure this decay with you. What do you mean? I, I don't like this. I... I want to go home. It's getting late and mother... Shh. This... Will only take a moment. Uh oh. What is that thing? Mr. Garvin, I, I, I don't understand. 
as my daughter, but I'm doing this for your sake. You'll thank me later once it grows accumulated to you. Now then, hold still. Oh no, he's corrupting her. Sometime later. Uh, hello, my, my love. Uh, it's been a while. You, G Garvin, why are you here? And what's happened to Eileen? She has been sick for days. Mm, I, ha I have a bit of a, a how should I phrase this, a confession to make. Well, I've, I've done, I've done Eileen a great service. She will live forever just as we do. Thanks to what I have done. You bound her soul? Carmen, no! I told you she wasn't part of it! <laughs> Why? Oh, the voice acting seemed crazy. No, 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 no. I have done much better. She has something now in her brain. But don't worry about the sorry state she's in now. The the parasite will need time to accumulate to refresh. I I realize a cure. My work is done, love. Aline will be cured. The decay can be stopped. It's wonderful. He cured it. He cured the decay. What did you do to my daughter? What is wrong with you? She doesn't seem to think so. I might have stepped out of line, but it's for the best. Out of line? This is too far, Garvin. What even happened to you? You've been acting like this for so, so long. I... I can't take it anymore. You've changed, Garvin. I... I can't even recognize you anymore. I'm... I'm done! Get out! Stay away from my family! Wow. These voice actors are getting into it. Ah, you again. What do you want from me this time? You've already ruined me. It doesn't matter. You've accomplished what we planned for. And that's perfect. <laughs> the girl will grow into a suitable leader. Now then, we have some questions for you. Tell me, Garvin, where is the air? Where is the air? I will not tell you. I have lost Aline and my love, thanks to you. If I am to lose her, then you shall lose her as well. Lunatic! You, take him in. Keep him alive. Keep him alive. No! Don't touch me! She's gonna go like superpower, isn't he? Oh, oh, he's getting hit. Poor Garvin. Garvin, Garvin, Garvin. I think there's a misunderstanding here. You are in no place to defy us. Now then, you will tell us where the rightful heir to the Gavellian throne is, no matter the cost. She's the heir to the throne? If Aline was given eternal life, then she's likely still alive. You should check around the manor for more clues. That's probably her that knocked me out. That's probably her right there. It seems you have arrived. For forgive me, I am not quite used that is to not her anymore. It's been quite a while. Never mind. I don't want your forgiveness. In particular, in fact, why do you even care? The forest has died. Generations have lived on my sins. I didn't skip it. He skipped it for me. Need to see them. All the things I've done wrong. Uh, how I destroyed the bonds tying me and my love together. Yes, I mean her. 
scattering. She's watching us as we speak now. Uh, and with that, I suppose it's obvious what lies under this veil. Boom. 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 The carbon's alive and well. Uh, I'm sure you're well acquainted with me by now. It, it was me all along. Quite the well. It was a predicted but, but I take it you I'm not skipping it. I don't know why it's skipping it by itself. So, 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 so. Let me explain to you, human, the bitter end to our shared tale. Okay. Now a little cutscene. Fine. I'll tell you. I'll tell you where it is. Don't crack. She is with her mother at the Falcon Manor. That that is all. Just stop. <laughs> Good. This had better not be a lie. You. Tell the others that we're heading there now. Kill everyone at the manor and any witnesses. Leave the air alive. What? No! Get back here! Don't you dare harm them! I'll kill you! Do you hear me? Okay. 8.46 AP. For your own good, dear. Now, remember to stay put. Garvin won't be able to use you if you're kept inside of here. I... I miss Dad. Yorman won't be bothering us anymore, sweetheart. He wouldn't understand, so... Just don't worry about what happened to him. It's irrelevant. Uh-oh. Did she kill him? Lady Catherine! Th there are intruders! Ah! She's gonna seal it. Who the hell are you all? Step aside, Katerin Faltuk. This will be much simpler if you stand down and tell us where your daughter is. <laughs> Come again? No, you won't touch her! Get out of my sight! You're not the one making demands here. You all, search the house and find the child. It's quite the story going on here. There she is. Hmm, it seems that the parasite injection worked well. Garavan wasn't so useless after all. <laughs> oh, too terrified to speak? Worry not, Aileen Faltuk. You won't be harmed. Too much. <laughs> You're quite important to us, you see. No! Stay away from my daughter! You have little choice in the matter, Miss Faltuk. Stand your... Ground. He's evil. Get away from her, do you hear me? <laughs> she broke through the spell. Uh-oh. She got blasted. Some people never understand what we do for the world. Thank you for protecting us from her, our key. She can't die, though. I will deal with the air myself. You all can head back to the village. Thank you for your help today. Oh, she definitely can I die. I should have known. I, I, my love, you're gone. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it all! Okay, he's angry. Understandably so. This is. Why did this have to happen? I can't. This can't end like this. It's still just so crazy how they accomplished all this without mods. Faltok Manor, the catacombs. What's he digging up? This will be enough. You have a wonderful grave, my love. We won't be separated, though. I will leave our true selves here. 
as well. My soul. And it be yours. Ah, the thing they bound their souls to. The things which are final acts of love. Catherine, this stone will keep us here. Eternal and in bliss. It's like nothing ever happened, right? She's still a ghost. And so it ends here. At the same time, it begins my desperate attempts to flee from my past. I tried to forget. I tried to forget everything, even my own name. I ignored Catherine's spirit calling out to me, demanding I return to her. I became nothing, a nobody. I had no purpose. I wandered into the forest pretending that nothing had ever gone wrong. But that changes now. What's changing now, Garvin? And now you understand. This is all my fault. I have ruined everything. Everything I touched, I destroyed. Have I not repented enough? Have I not suffered for decades in this godforsaken forest? And why did you have to? <laughs> no. You know too much, but, but I can't kill, not again. I, I can make things right. I'm going to fix this. I'm going, I'm going to, I'm going to. Oh, he's breaking. I'm going to, I'm going to. Catherine! Where's he going? Get to the master bedroom. Her ghost is probably up here. Catherine, my love, is that you? My word, it is you. I missed you, love, and I'm so sorry for all of this. I realize now, thanks to the human's effort, what I have done has torn us apart. I hurt you and our little girl so much. I I'm so sorry, Catherine. Please forgive me. Let us fix all of this. She can speak? He's gonna try to hug her. Went right through her. Huh? Why can't I? Catherine? For forgiveness. What? What do you mean? Speak, my love. I don't understand. Forgiveness. You beg for me to forgive you. I, yes, yes, please, my love. I know I've spent the last century and a half running away from us, but... Oh, she's not going to take the forgiveness. Not after 150 years. It was all my fault. From the beginning. I was wrong. We could fix this. We could make everything go back to normal, just like it was before. Please, Catherine, all I ask is that you forgive me. Some weird mesh of music going on. You, you must really have a death wish. What's she gonna do? Maybe I can forgive this, but I need something from you as well. Where is the gemstone? I'd... I'd like to know. And then... I 
could she's gonna destroy it forgive this uh, oh is that warm uh, of course my love I can tell you I I placed him in the catacombs right next to where Uh, what, what? What is this? I, I can't breathe! Please! Oh no. No! 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 Human! Help me! Cut her in! Cut her in! Is she gonna kill him? Uh. Okay. You. Took. Her from me. Is this ghost gonna pop up now? You poisoned her. You ruined everything. Head to the catacombs. Man, this this quest is messed up. She must have fled to the catacombs. What is this thing? This is crazy. Let's get in the catacombs. Here's his body. Where is it? Tell me where it is, Garvin. I know you're still listening. Does she know exactly where the gemstone is? You know where it is. You need to show where the gemstone is before she brings the room down in your head. Gemstone must be underneath his rubble, right? You knew where it was? Hmm. What did Garvin call you things? Right. A human. You knew? Oh no, I don't like the sound of this. just beneath this rubble? Here it is. Thank you. Now, this eternal hell will finally end. After so long. Do you hear that? It's the ocean waves. You won't escape. What the? <laughs> Our love was meant to last. Oh no, Garvin's angry. His body's gonna reanimate, isn't it? What is that thing? He experimented on himself too, didn't he? Where'd she go? Dude, you leave me alone. Intruder, you made the wrong choice. If you refuse to forgive me, then I will simply erase any proof that we ever existed. Nothing will remember you once you disappear. All right, do I have to fight him now? Garvin, the Wanderer. Okay. Might have to acromage this fight. I'm the best acromage Windcraft has ever seen. Oh, there's like, I have to dodge between them. I think I'd rather just acro mage. No! Oh, I'm gonna die. I, I stand no chance. I don't have a heal. I don't have potions. Yeah, what the heck. Okay, I gotta, I gotta get some, some stuff set up for this fight. Alright, let's see if it will let us just start the fight again. It will. We need to just burst him. Need to keep my mana over a hundred. I need to dodge those attacks. Holy cow. Can I perch somewhere? Nope. Creators thought of everything. Okay. Can use my mana bank ability for that. 
heal, fly, heal, fly, heal. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Heal and made a big ability. Okay, it's a large chunk of damage there. Nothing my meteor can't handle. Gotta keep dodging, gotta keep dodging. It's hard to commentate while I'm in a fight this intense. I apologize. Okay. These things need to go. These things need to go. These things need to go. And mana bank. And spam, spam, spam. Finish them off, finish them off. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Is that it? Please say there's not another phase. I almost just died in the aftermath. Don't destroy the gym. I can't let you. Don't do it. Well, let me. Boom. I think this gym's destroyed. He's gone. All of this will finally be done. Holy crap, this is a quest and a half. Thank you, stranger. Thank you for everything. Now I'm finally free. But, I suppose I still have unfinished business. Before I leave, I must know something. What has become of my daughter, Eileen? Has she suffered anymore? Or did she escape? I must know. Is she okay? Let's say she's fine. I see. That is wonderful news. We're gonna let her rest Thank in peace. Human. I must... Leave. The pain. The pain is receding. The heavens are calling. For the final time. Goodbye. Thank you, human. From the bottom of my heart. What the heck did we just witness? Maybe we should give them a proper burial. And we're going to cover it up. They're buried together. Wow. I, I don't feel happy at the end of that. I, f I feel like... I feel sad. Well, that is the end of this quest. So the end of this video. I appreciate you staying till the end. And I will see you in the next one.